Hello everyone, today we have uh, an issue with the firmware, the VM machine, uh, it says take ownership, so I try to make a quick video to show you how you fix it and how you go around it. So let me show you the issue for this host right here, I have two VM running right here, so I have the one with the X because I lost the power and while I have this one open, so if I, if I hit click or double click to see to get this green arrow coming up it says take ownership when i hit take ownership it says fail field is failed to take the ownership so what i will do is the other way that maybe you can do it, delete it and reinstall it uh, from this location so first we're gonna go to the task manager and then I will show you how to go around it. So don't say remove because otherwise you're gonna remove it from this location and delete it. And then you have to go back to the home screen. And uh, and then you, you have to add it one more time and sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. And especially if you have a backup data. So hit cancel and then uh, sorry about that. Okay, so I will hit cancel and then I will minimize this and then I will go to the task manager and you can you can do this by uh, alt delete control so I cannot do this with one hand that's why I have it open once you hit this or you can go to the, your your search bar by task bar and you hit task manager <clears throat> that will open up okay so you're gonna see it right here once you hit task manager and uh, i have it open so i don't have to open it again and then once you have this one open and you're gonna see a process and you're gonna see what's is running so if you're running right here you're gonna see oh, everything is running in your background in your pc so we didn't need to do this you're gonna go back here and go to details and then we're gonna look for firmware tray um, dot uh, exe. Okay, so let's take a look. Firmware tray dot exe. Don't go to USB arbitration because any any if you end up this, you're gonna lose any connection if you have uh, any USB uh, running in your host through your virtual machine. So we're gonna go to uh, firmware tray.exe and then we're gonna hit right click and then delete it. Okay, so I cannot see delete. Or end task. End of process, air more tray, yes. Okay, so we end up this. Now you're gonna go back to your uh, BC, this BC, and your location, the firmware location, and then you're gonna go for uh, VM data and look for the files with LCK dot LCK extension or lock. So whatever is lock, full uh, file and folders uh just i cannot do this with one hand so just select it and then um you're gonna hit control and let me see how i can do this with one hand so i will hit control okay or shift and then select all three once i have been select all three you're gonna hit right click and then cut and then you're gonna go in the same directory and you're gonna hit right click new and then folder you can call this as a temp okay and once you create the folder temp, double click it and hit paste. So you paste the LCK or 
l o k uh, the lock folder dot extension l a c k or dot l o c k okay now we should go back and we if we can have this so now the green bo button come up and now we can do this and hit run there you go there you go and now you can hit okay because we lose the power all right so i hope uh, this video helps someone and uh, if you want to map or troubleshoot any vm that uh, just leave me leave me a note in the comment i will make a special video also if you want to learn about the blc or control panel or uh, repair repair electronics anything related to the control or blc uh, i will be happy to make uh, different videos if you want to learn about uh, key programming automotives and uh, any allen bradley or rockwell uh, product just leave it in the comment below uh, i will be happy to help you out if you wanna if you wanna learn anything about cisco networking or any other uh, machine language uh, how to convert the binary to the to the uh, ascii which is american standard code association or you know so you can understand the binary file you can read your uh, binary code so without tools you don't have to spend a lot of money for tools so once you have uh, the binary file you can read it and i will let you know and understand how to convert it to a word that you can you know that you can understand and how to extract the bin code and how to do a lot of, uh, you can work with the bin, uh, bin file thank you guys for watching if you like the video just share it a like and subscribe i will see you in the next one Thank you.